Princess Anna TV. So I'm going to be doing a very intense internal cockpit. Uh, like I say, I'm going to do a cockpit tour in this airplane. Some things that I know I'm conversant to it because obviously I'm new to this airplane, but there are some things that I kind of have an idea about which I'm getting to know every day. I discovered that this machine is a very, very massive machine. <laughs> and I even know that people that have been flying it for years are still learning one or two things from this uh, aircraft. So I'm going to be starting from the captain's side. Yeah, I'm currently sitting at the captain's side because pre-flight and everything has already been done. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Then we'll go from this side all to the side so i hope you're going to learn one or two things you will definitely learn a lot because me i'm also filming this video so that i can also go and look at it severally because i also learned from myself <laughs> anyways let's do this let's do this let's do the internal cockpit uh, tour so for the internal cockpit tour as you can see this is the captain's window side yes this is the window and this window can actually be opened from here it's, it's most of the time it's actually very difficult for me sometimes i use two hands you press this pin it goes in you press this pin in like this and you can actually slide this window and you have the glacier glacier for sun during flight on ground and everything so you have this glacier that you remove and you put at all times next thing is this chat or card holder yes you can actually put your charts your everything like paperwork and all that you can pin it up here as you can see you can pin it up here during the flight you can write during the flight you can keep your papers whatever you want to do here and this headset according to my captain he says it's always supposed to be here you can see this it's always supposed to be here so but most of the time when during flights most of the time we always keep it here <laughs> but it's always supposed to be hanging here because you can even see the headset this is the hand mic this is the boom mic headphone headset you all have their connectors there so this is the oxygen max as you can see oxygen max when you want to check it you do i don't want to waste the oxygen because that's already been checked and this is what is this is the tiller it's used for taxing so the when you taxi taxi with this and that's why it's only the captain's side that can actually taxi this aircraft so actually it's not easy to be a, a captain so whenever you see captains you give them their kudos they deserve it actually they do a lot of work so this is the captain's side they taxi with this and obviously with the rudders so this is telling i like all these placards on the airplane because it helps you not know, to forget a lot of things you can see that here they're telling you 71 uh oh god what's this sign again i've forgotten actually so they're just showing you the deflection how you can deflect steering push to operate you have to place this down and operate this steering push to operate they're giving you here and giving you here that's one thing with the aircraft they always like to make it double so that you don't miss it next thing you have the air vents yes air is even coming in from here currently and you have the air speed they are telling you this is another placard air speed after takeoff slash during climb without retrieving max speed you can go without retrieving is 160 before you get to the six 160 knots make sure you have trimmed then you have the emergency elt this is the elt yes then after the elt you have the maneuvering speed they are reminding you flaps your flap restriction speeds is here yes max speed you can go below eight thousand feet is here everything placard we have it here then you have obviously chronometer the clock here then the call sign of the airplane and you have the com box this is the irs yes irs you always put it in nav and off you know you put it in nav you take it to off so this is what is going to tell you this light shows when you put it in nav it's going to first go to 
on its own battery then it's good to align if it has any fault probably to show fault but i've never seen it on any of these lights it's always on this and guys this is the communication box you have com1 com2 com3 hf aux pack so when you press this you talk to packs press this either com1 com this com2 this com3 so whichever then in the com box you can actually listen to com1 and com2 at the same time all you have to do is com2 you just press com2 out and you hear what they're saying in com2 why you can talk on com one but you can listen to com one and com two at the same time then this ones nav one nav two adf one adf two dm one dm all these ones once you press them out you can listen to the spot the most code as if i hear the most code now bam, 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 bam. it's telling us that we are on the correct uh view are reset correct nav frequencies so when we push it in we hear that if you put com we can hear it, we can increase the volumes by taking it off. You hear pa, 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 pa. So that's how you listen to it. You push it back in. So the same thing goes for all these ones. The speaker, now we are on speaker, you can hear. Please bear. Okay. You can hear. Please bear to London. So at this point, if you don't want to hear from the speaker, all you have to do is hear from the speaker anymore but when you push it out you can hear all from the speaker you can hear speed bed okay speed bed is going to london he through today so you want to always hear from speaker this is captain side he likes to hear from speaker so this is on you have marker yeah and you have mute you have your headphone you can increase the headphone like you know this is the headphone you can decide to increase the headphone or decrease or decrease the volume for the headphone whatever works for you this is reversionary panel you can put it on P pfd norm and icast it's always on norm except when you lose any of your pfds on pfds then you change to reversionary panel either pfd or you use your icast you want to replace the screen and you put it on icast so now what other thing you have another panel here irs adc and data computer you have irs you have the ng here this is the pmt now i would like to be doing like a brief uh, what is just telling you basically what's on the pmt this is the speed that was set 162 for this particular flight because we are still standing by waiting it's coupled to the captain's side that's why you can see the sign when you want to couple, you press here to couple. It can be coupled to either the first officer's side or the captain's side. Let's reduce this speaker so it doesn't disturb us. So now it is coupled to the captain's side. If I go here and click here, it's going to be coupled to the first officer's side. As you can see the sign, it's going back to the first officer's side. But it's the captain's side we want it at. So we go back to the captain's side. And now something is missing. We had our flight director here. I'm going to go and click on the toga button and you have our flight director coming back you have no takeoff you don't want no takeoff you want heading so we go click here and you get your heading takeoff the altitude that we are going to be going at is 26,000 feet and we already have it here set 26,000 the speed that we bought because landing speeds are always different takeoff speeds are always different depending on the weight of the aircraft so landing speeds and takeoff speeds are very very much different and so you, you bug, bug in some speeds here if you want to bug in speeds you go to MFD speeds then you can put in your speeds but the speeds are already set and these speeds that are set are what we show here so that you can know your V1 speed your rotation speed and your V2 speed next you have the cost the cost here is the final approach cost for the destination we are going to and this is the distance from this current vr uh, nav frequency that is set here so you have vr one and two which is the blue and the white needle and the heading bulb like this is the heading knob when i turn it it goes to a different head as you can see it's reducing 
I'm going back to heading 215. You can see it's increasing. So heading 215 is set. So you have this here. And our RA, which you know as radio altimeter, is here 220. That's what we set. The TCAS is currently off. Yes, because we have our TCAS here. The TCAS is currently off. And we have the V the VSI is zero and the ground speed is five knots. This is the MFD. A lot of things are here on this MFD. We are going to be talking about it probably in the next video. I don't want this video. This video will definitely be long because it's an internal. Anyway, this is the MFD. This is standby instrument. You use this to reduce the brightness. If you press plus, 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 you increase brightness. If you press minus, 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 you reduce the brightness. So the captain will keep it at any point he wants. When you press this, it goes to standard. And you know standard QNH is 1013. Now the QNH set here is 1010. But when you get to your transition altitude, you have to change to standard. So you press here to change to standard. It automatically goes to 1013. Here is the COM box. You have COM1, you have NAV1. The up one is active, the blue one is on standby. So for your next frequency, you just go here and you set your COM uh, frequencies. Here you have your uh, transponder codes. For when you want to take off, the controller is going to give you a code. It can give you set, let's click on this. It can give you set 2000, so you just go here and set 2000. This, the, the bigger knob turns the big ones and the smaller one turns the small numbers at the down. So it just depends. For now, we are on 101 because we've not been given any score code. You can either put it on standby or you can put it on TARA. I don't want to put it on TARA because you only do that when you're on the wrong way. And people can see you on their tickers. The tickers is displayed here. Let me go to the tickers page. Okay, no. Let me not do this on the captain's side. I'll do that then. I'll show you that the tickers page. If you change this to TARA, they can see you on their tickers. So I don't want to do this here because we are not going anywhere. This is the range. The range you can actually see for the, this is the tickers display range. You can increase it. You can increase it to 40, 80. You can even increase to 120. You can go back to six. So max here is 120. Minimum here is six as you can see. Six, 12, 20, 40, 80. So usually it's on 20 or 40. Here you can either go above, you want to see people above, or you can go below, okay, normal and below. So any of them will serve. Depends on what you want to see. These are the nav, nav frequency area. This is the ADF. This is the HF. So here you have your squash. If they said ident, ident frequency, you press on ident. This is page. This is test button. This is half. You can transfer what is here into the second one. And this is store. This is your DMA. A lot of things to know. And I'm still learning more of this instrument. This is the ICAS. ICAS, I've talked about it on this channel before. Engine indicating and crew alerting system. Engine indicating and crew alerting system. So you have all your engine indications here. You can see them. Engine 1 and engine 2. Left engine, right engine. And you can see here you pressure, temperature, oil pressure, oil temperature, vibration, low pressure, high pressure. You can see cabin altitude, you can see the cabin rate, you can see the uh, cabin pressure, you can see the APU, the APU is currently running. Then you can see the trims, this is 0007 up and in the green. So that's what we always see. Then you can see that the landing gears are down, there's no flap, flap is not engaged as you can see flap is not engaged and uh, what else is there the flaps are not engaged and the spoilers are not open the spoilers are closed so this is it this is the landing here very important very very important this is the second comb and we'll go over this <laughs> i'm already getting and so we are going to go over others i'm already getting a little bit talkish i need to prepare for the flight <laughs> I don't want to be talking, talking, talking. So these are the things that we have here in this airplane. I've done just a half um, internal tour. I know that by the next flight or whatever, if I have the opportunity again, I'm going to do another tour for you so that you can appreciate this beautiful airplane. 
so i hope you stay tuned to princess Anu tv subscribe if you've not yet subscribed like this video share with your friends tell a friend to tell another friend this is princess Anu. <laughs> and by the way i was reading just in case you want